Hello guys, it, this is HDXI and um, welcome to my top 5 reasons why I should switch to PC because to be honest I'm planning on going to PC for main reasons like car games and all, GTA 5, because frame rate and all, but there's a big, like there's lots of lists but I've scaled it down to 5. So um, we should get started. Number one is frame rate. On the P on the PS4 and Xbox One, it always is locked onto 40 to 30 FPS. If I play on PC, on the other hand, I can at least get to 60 or 70 FPS, and that means even more smoother videos for you guys. And also, I can enjoy my games with smooth frame rate. Reason number two is steering wheels. The big problem I have on the PAS4 and Xbox One is not really too much adapters for steering wheels. So you can't really play steering wheel games. Steering wheel based games, basically. So I can't play GTA with a steering wheel. I can't play GTA with a keyboard. I can play Fortnite with a keyboard on the PS4 and Xbox, but. I only have the PS4, but I know it's going to be on Xbox because it's Fortnite. But I like the idea of switching between what you can preference it to. So if you like, say, if you like playing on the keyboard for a day, you go on the keyboard. If you like going on your controller for the day, just plug in your control. Or just connect it. There's loads of different methods, but with like some games, they reverse roll it so you can play with your keyboard on your console, which is quite cool. I feel like there should be more games like that, and um, that takes me on to, well, reason three, which is um, controls. With GTA and other, other games, PC is much harder to maneuver around, but it's so more simplistic. With the PS4 you have analog sticks which you have to like, it's really sensitive on what direction. So you go left, it doesn't go fully left, it goes slightly to the left depending on your degree of your controller. I think the maximum angle for an analog to stretch is 75 degrees from the center or the midpoint. With the PC it will go all the way to the left. You have the variation of that 75 degrees in the middle, so um, yeah. The big reason is that probably because you can press the space button. That's how do you jump? But with like some console buttons, you can break the jump button and you can't jump anymore. But on PC, you can just replace the keyboard or get it repaired. Mouse is much easier to maneuver around with the camera. I find it much easier in third person games to man maneuver around with a mouse. Because when you think about it, you can turn off the smoothing. So, with like console games like GTA and Fortnite and WW2, you have no really freedom with your selection of camera movement. So, um, yeah. Reason four is. I can sit down at a desk and play games and then switch. Basically it's more easier to switch to whatever console you want by that point. You can change... The only problem I have about PS4 and Xbox One and um, basically any console is the idea of having two separate things. If like PC, you can go from a game back to your PC and then you can go from that PC desktop screen to another game. And uh, yeah, keeps it really fluent, smooth. You don't need to put a disc in, some games you might need to, but if you have a really old PC. I trust, I, I mean it, but don't actually uh, put in an old game into a Windows 10 updated PC because your shit will crash. But your data will be still there, it's just it will have a blue 
sun loading blue screen. It's not a complete blue screen. It's just windows can turn on properly. You just have to restart. It's not that bad, but your PC will get back to it where it was. That's what happened to me quite a while ago, but yeah. So basically, you don't have to put any discs in. Nothing. You can even put in the USB and listen to music if you like. And um, yeah, reason five is weight distribution. Yes, the PC is a lot more heavier than a console, but there's a lot more variables to change than a console. Console gaming is going up and up. It's not as top, not as popular as a uh, PC gaming, but it's up there. I gotta say. So um, yeah, be sure if you want to have a PC, I would recommend having a lightweight model. Mod the PC I have is quite heavy. It's a proper gaming PC, like... Yeah, I don't recommend bringing that to, like, your camp trip or anything, so... Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and, um... Any of these points you think are pretty good, you can say in the comments. I'll read them all. Oh, I'll like them. I'll favorite them, I'll pin them, I'll reply to them. And uh, what do you think of PC gaming and console gaming? I don't want arguments saying like which one's better, but what would you rather have if you had the money for them? Would you rather have a 300 quid PS4 or um, 200 quid now? But would you want a thousand pound PC or 500 pound PC? I'm not talking about the way I'm talking about the money because. Well, if you're in America, which is 25% of you on my uh, analytics, then uh, $500 or 250 dollars I don't know how much the price of a PS4 is in America. It's a lot more cheaper in the UK. But... Yeah, so... One thing I have to say before I finish this video, um... Titanfall 2 live streams are gonna be a little bit weekly. It's going to be every Sunday, so uh, make sure to, well, I'm saying this on Monday, on the Monday, Monday 4th of December, so uh, this might go out, like, I don't know, it's tomorrow, by the time I'm recording this, so yeah, be sure to uh, drop a like, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.